Now that we have a few lectures in there, let's go ahead and create a quiz. Click on lessons, add a new lesson. Make sure the lesson type is on quiz. And let's take a quick look at some of the settings. If you go to pass fail options, you can set the percentage of what they have to get in order to be considered passed on this lesson. And on taking options, there are a few different options you can choose. I'll go read through these and see if there's any that you'd like, but I'm just gonna leave the default settings on for now and save. And now we need to create some questions. As you can see, there's various different types of questions. But for our first question, let's make a multiple choice question. So our first question is, what color is an apple? Now, if you choose multiple answers, that means that there are multiple correct answers that they could choose from. Random order will shuffle the answers up. So for our first answer, we're gonna put red. We're gonna check that this is the correct answer. Now for answer two, we're gonna type in blue. Now we can save this. And you can see we have one question. Let's go ahead and create one more question for our quiz. This time we're gonna choose H5P question. Now what's cool about this type is within it are multiple different types that you can choose from. These are all HTML5 type of questions. There are board games, collages, drag and drop questions. Now we're gonna choose drag text. Now for this, we can make a test question. Let's say, California is a state of United States. Now let's go down here and save. Now that we've created our quiz, let's go ahead and test it out. We're gonna to go to our quiz and we're gonna start lesson. As you can see, the first question, it lets me choose. I'm gonna choose the wrong answer. I'm gonna choose green, hit next. And now we have our drag question that we created. So drag the words into the correct boxes. California is a state of United States. We're gonna check our answers. That was correct. So we're gonna hit finish. Now we can see here on the results page, I scored a 91%. I got this question wrong. It shows me what the right answer was. And now I can go back to the course. Now you can see here, it also logged how long it took me to complete that quiz. Looks like it took me about 25 seconds. And that is creating quizzes.